On this episode of RV with Soul, I'm going to tell you how we went from faded and cracking decals on our hood to this. Hey, hey, y'all. Look. I don't know about you, but I am ready to get on the road. I am ready to get this RV with Soul 2021 camping season going. And I pray for us as well as for you that this RV season is not going to leave us hanging like 2020. You know, with the canceled plans we had to make because of all the shutdowns everywhere. So hopefully things will be open for business and we can get to camping, but do it safely. I will need to make sure I put that in the forefront because the most important thing is that whatever we do, that we are doing it safely. So by the way, if you're new to this channel, I am Angie and this is RV for Soul. This channel is all about my family's part-time RVing adventures and the things that we learn along the way. We share a lot of tips, tricks, and hacks. And I really enjoy it when you take the time to share with me. So welcome to the channel if you're new here. And if you're not new here, one thing that I know you already know is that as much as I share the things that work, I will also share with you things that don't work, right? So this video, having said that, <laughs> this video, y'all, almost didn't get made all right not because something didn't quite work but let me tell you let, let me explain so i decided to do a thing y'all i decided to paint the hood of the rv yeah you heard me right i was painting the very front part of the rv that everybody will see that's most noticeable the place where you don't want to make a mistake. <laughs> I was looking at the front of the RV and I began to notice two of the swoops are black and then there was two swoops that were in the burgundy color. Well, they were so faded and so unrecognizable in terms of the color. It was ridiculous. They were, uh, one was a light, light gray, and then one was a darker shade of gray, but there were several scratches, looked like uh, something had just been eaten away at the decal. Now on our RV, I know there's two different body types. You have a painted body, and then you have a body like ours that does have decals on it. So I did some research to find out some of the options of what I could do to fix this because you know, your girl don't like riding around looking like that. Mm -mm. So something had to be done. I knew obviously that I could probably take it to a body shop. They could redesign and then they could cut decals that I could lay on top of it in the same shades that's on the RV already. So I knew that that was probably going to be, uh, I guess could be the best option would be to take it to an auto body shop and let them just recreate the design and put new decals on. But I decided to look at some other options and I found out that I could also just remove the decals all together and just have my hood just be blank. But I didn't really want to do that because it wasn't all of the decals that were uh, d messed up because there were some white ones that looked pretty good. But the black ones and the burgundy ones are the ones that looked really bad. And if I remove those, I just felt like it would just, it would look like something was missing there. Like something was there, but not there anymore. And it would be obvious something is missing. And I didn't want that. So I saw a third option where I could actually paint it myself. Now, <laughs> This is why this video almost didn't get made, y'all. Because number one, well, actually for two reasons. The first reason is because if this project did not turn out right, I didn't want anybody to know I did it. <laughs> Honestly, I really just didn't want anybody to know that I was the one who messed up the hood of the RV. So 
I decided that, you know, maybe I shouldn't make this video. And then two, you know, why would I want to tell you to do something or show you how to do something that where I messed up my RV and have you mess up your RV too? So I was, I was like, no, I, I maybe I should make this video because I'll be honest with you. I was not that confident in my abilities to get this thing done. I really wasn't, but I was willing to try. But I, I knew it was a big risk. I mean, but I looked at it this way. The worst case scenario, if it turned out really bad, then I could just go and have the professionals redo it, you know, have it done right. But the reason why I decided to go ahead and produce this video is because I know from many of you, you've reached out to me, you've shared your experiences with purchasing your RV, and I know that many of you did like I did. You bought something that was new to you and that you plan on making some changes, fixing some things up to make it what you want it to be. And I thought to myself that it would just be a shame if my project did turn out really good and I did not share with you how I did it and hopefully give you the confidence to give it a try yourself. Because when I got started, I started thinking, oh my goodness, I told my mom, I was like, I'm a little bit nervous now, I'm very <laughs> nervous. But you know, I, I, I pressed through it. And so if I can encourage you or help you if you have some um, decals that are looking pretty jacked on your RV then maybe you know this video can help you to feel a little more confident in um, finding ways to fix it yourself and not necessarily having to go through the expense of taking your RV into a body shop because as you probably already know it's not the same as if you were taking your car in. it is it is quite different now, before I get into how I transformed the hood of the RV, we got to talk about how we got here in the first place. After every trip, make sure that you clean off the hood of your RV, no matter if you're driving an motorhome, a fifth wheel, a travel trailer, make sure to clean off the front of it. If you don't get anything, get this. Bug gut damage is real. Make sure to clean up the front of your RV after every trip. So let's talk about what you're gonna need to complete this project. And most of this stuff I found right in my local hardware store. And this roll of thin paper I used to cover the parts of the hood that I wanted to protect from overspray. Now, you don't have to use this. You can use regular newspaper, but I did order this from Amazon and I'll put a link in the description. And this is just regular painter's tape that you can find just about anywhere. Now this I ordered off of Amazon it is a roll of thin auto detailing tape. It is very important, especially if you have a lot of curves in your design. So you're gonna need some sanding tools. I have an ultra fine sanding block for finishing, and then I have a medium coarse sanding block. You're also gonna need a primer. I'm using this Rust-Oleum Universal Bonding Primer in white. And then you're gonna need the enamel, whatever color you're gonna use. Now I'm redoing two different colors. So I have this black paint, that's a paint and primer. And because I could not come close to even matching the burgundy on the RV, I decided to match the gray stripes that we have on the side and just change the burgundy to a gray on the hood. And you're also gonna need a top coat. I'm us using this Rust-Oleum Universal Clear Top Coat in high gloss. And then this stuff right here, guys, this goof off, let me tell you something. <laughs> this saved me from almost passing out because I can assure you, you may have some overspray. There's probably gonna be some areas of your RV that's gonna get paint that you did not intend for it to have paint. This stuff takes it off. It's a lifesaver. The very first thing you wanna do is you wanna take your coarse sanding block and you wanna sand your decal. You don't wanna sand it completely off, but you do want to get it nice and smooth. Don't skip this step. It is very important to what your finished product is gonna look like. Next, you wanna outline your decal with your auto detailing tape. You wanna get it as close and smooth as possible. Then you wanna go around your auto detailing tape with your painter's tape. Okay, next you wanna use your paper to cover up the RV um, just to leave exposed the areas that you want to spray and you can start priming. So after about three layers of primer and two hours of drying time, you wanna go back and sand your primer. This ensures the enamel goes on nice and smooth. 
and now you're ready for your enamel I started with my black color I did four thin sprays to give it full coverage and I let it sit overnight to dry and then the next morning I pulled back the paper carefully peeled off the tape and I must say I was pleasantly surprised with what I found it is not perfect but it is a whole heck of a lot better than what it was to begin with so I was very happy since my black stripes were completely dry, I got started using the very same steps to do the gray stripes. And the next day or two, here are my final results. Hey, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, let me know about it. If you're thinking about doing an exterior painting job on your RV or if you've already done it, drop me a picture or a line. I want to hear about it. Thanks for watching.